Geometry students, Mr. Zazik back, and better than ever, we're getting ready for our final exam. We're doing some Regents review and uh, putting together kind of a series of videos, take you through some uh, uh, many of the commonly asked topics. Uh, we won't do a totally exhaustive thing, but uh, first one, we're going to look at the equations of circles. So the first thing we need to understand when we're thinking about circles is that we need to know what the standard form of the equation of a circle is. So that's x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Uh, where the center is the point hk and then where r equals the radius. So when we're thinking about this kind of, sh you know, shortcut wise, we're thinking that we have to switch the signs when it's in that form. Um, so those are, are fairly straightforward types of questions. Um, for example, I'll do one just kind of down here. If we had like x minus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 16. And the question was, what is the center? Well, all we're going to do is switch the sign so that minus 3 is positive 3, the plus 2 is negative 2, and then remember over here it equals r squared. So if r squared is 16 and we take the square root, the square root of 16 is 4. So that's kind of the simplest version of that is given the equation, identify the center and the radius. Um, but sometimes we're given a question like this and uh, it's not written in standard form. And so what we need to be able to do is we have to understand how to manipulate it algebraically to write it in standard form. So as we look at this, we see this kind of negative sign. It's really like a negative 1 there. So we're going to have x squared plus 4x equals negative y squared plus 20. Okay, now with our x squared, whenever you have an x squared and then you have this term right here with uh, x to the first power, we are going to have to rewrite that as a perfect square trinomial. And the way we're going to do that is by adding something to it. Well, in addition to that, we're going to move this y squared back over to the other side by adding y squared to both sides, and it equals 20. So what did I do? I added y squared here, and I added y squared here. And we're going to add what the rules of equations say, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So we're, we're kind of focused on two different things here. We're focused on this x term here, and then we're focused on the y term. Now the reason I'm not adding anything to the y term is because it's simply y squared. If it was like y squared minus 6y, then we would have to apply this same idea, but we don't. So the question is, how do I make this highlighted uh, yellow expression what's called a perfect square trinomial? And the key is this value of b. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 4, we're going to divide it by 2, and we're going to square it. Well, whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So... 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So we're left with um, this expression. Now what happens is this expression is what we refer to as a perfect square trinomial right here. This one is a perfect square trinomial. So we can rewrite this as a binomial squared if we take this number here, the b number, and divide it by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is simply 2, plus y squared equals 24. So now this is written in standard form at this point, and so the center is going to be negative 2, 0. It's 0 because there's nothing being added to the y squared. Uh, and then the radius, so if r squared is 24, the radius would equal the square root of 24. And we might need to put that in simplest radical form, or we might need to put it to the nearest tenth. So in this question, it's asking us, 
what step did he make an error in his work? So let's go ahead and kind of compare. Well, he, in step one, he distributed the negative one. That looks correct, okay? So step one is good. Then what happens here, what's, what's different in this next one? Do you see how it's adding four and subtracting four? Well, that doesn't work. You can't, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side in order for an equation to be balanced. So the mistake that they made here was in step two. But I wanted to use this question not just to answer that question, but to kind of give you this bigger picture of how we complete the square to create a perfect square trinomial so that we can write the equation of a circle in what we refer to as standard form. Very common question, and uh, so if you need a little help with that, feel free to go back and watch this again and really kind of dissect it. And uh, good luck. You should anticipate an equation of a circle question.